Hello guys, in this video we are going to write some simple code uh, for reading and showing the frame from the single camera and uh, the integrated uh, web camera of my uh, laptop. Let's just start. Uh, so first of all, we want to we need to <coughs> import the CV2, this is OpenCV and SCV. And then uh, I'm going to check if it's a main, it's a model run. And then to capture the video, video capture uh, from the zero. The zero index is uh, the default number of uh, the integrated uh, web camera. And if this is not open, I'm, go I'm going to show this, uh, I'm going to search here, give an assertion. And just for sake of clearness, printing the captured uh, captured object. Then while true, so we need to grab frames uh, continuously, Oops. while true, uh, the frame is equal to read frame. And we will write this read frame in a moment. Then we need to show this frame. Show this frame, but uh, it should have some unique string uh, representation. So uh, just frontal camera uh, should be sufficient. And if uh, uh, CV weight key um, one is equal to 27, this is escape. And then I'm going to break the uh, break from, um, yeah, from the wild loop. Uh, the next thing that we need to write is read frame. Read frame function will reside in the video async.py file and def read frame, yeah, the capture. Uh, so we can use either. Uh, we can use the, uh, the, uh, the capture object. This is the opened, opened. Uh, uh, this is a capture object from the video captures. We, we pass it to the read frame, and we can gr grab retrieve or read uh, from uh, this uh, from this capture object. I'm going to use this capture grab. So grab, and then immediately like read frame uh, the capture. Retrieve, retrieve. Nice. And uh, just printing the frame. This is a bunch of arrays, so nothing fancy. If not red, uh, then we are going to print like, hey, we have empty frame and return from this function. Otherwise, we are going to return uh, the captured frame. Let's save. Yeah, that's it. That's it for code. And let's test. Uh, so what we have here, um, we have built our image, and now we need to uh, fire up. Uh, yeah, our container. Let's see. Uh, there is no such file. So I can't open the file app dummy dot pi. I don't know why. So let's see. Let's see what we have. Mm -hmm. So say that. So work. Ah, no, we didn't even copy uh, our uh, our files from uh, the vector to the vector. So we need to write this copy dot dot so copy everything inside this the folder to the slash app folder inside the docker container so let's just build it again i don't know it should succeed right uh, then then up file up nice it should be started here um let me just and we need to log into this uh, container 
as it is and run this main.py file. Let's see. Uh, so name uh, read frame is not defined. I think that I, I didn't even import it. Nice. Uh, so from async frame reader import read oh no uh, video async import read frame um so yeah and let's just do dash dash build it will build each time and start starts the container oops and then again log into the container and run this main pi great so with some uh, simple steps uh, we are able to read the frames and this is a print uh, the frame so this is a bunch of the arrays nothing fancy uh, this is a name a frontal camera so it's real time there um, but uh, we will see that when we apply some kind of face detection uh, the reshaping resizing to the frames it, it will consume the time and the this real time feeling will uh, gradually degrade and that's why we are here so we are going to use um, this <coughs> async io concurrent uh, programming techniques to achieve, uh, to, to achieve uh, the minimizing the lagging between the cameras and the frames itself. So that's it for this video. So uh, we are able to read the frame from the single camera. And see you in the next video.